Hey, it's Chris and Des Show. I'm Chris. And I'm Des. And today we're going to talk to you about the Disney live action Aladdin that came out. It's their new thing, you know, after, I think, what, was Cinderella the first one? I don't know. Then they did Cinderella. Beauty and the Beast. They did Cinderella was before that, though. Okay. So maybe Cinderella was the first one. They did Cinderella, and they did Beauty and the Beast, they did the Jungle Book one with the, animals, with the Lion and King. The Lion King that comes out really next good. month. Um, oh, but, Jungle Book? Yeah, that was... That might have been the first one. Yeah, it was either... I think Cinderella's... I can't remember. Okay, it maybe this you know I don't know. Um, but I think they've gotten better progressively. I agree. I agree. The Lion King and... Ju I mean, Cinderella, as much as I love them, Cinderella. Then we got... Jungle Book was not my thing. Yeah. But Beauty and the Beast, I really enjoyed. Yeah, no, and I agree. And then Aladdin and Lion King look really good too. Yes, so, absolutely. Aladdin, sorry, oh. <laughs> Aladdin. Des, what do you think? <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, this okay going into this movie, all I heard was badness about Will Smith. Like it, it was bad, or it wasn't good, or it was all this stuff. And so I was trying to keep that to the side of mm. going in to see mm. this movie. Mm. And I really liked it. I liked the changes that they made to the story. I liked the, I liked the way, the unique way they started the story, with, uh, with the, parts. And I just, I, I thought it was the Aladdin story told by live people. Uh, I kind of wish. I will admit that I wish the, big musical numbers were, a little more. Than they were, like they're they're, like when you're it's a cartoon you can do all sorts of stuff, but I do feel like that they could have like the best one was the one inside the cave, a friend like me, uh -huh. that I thought that one set the bar, and then the Prince Ali one was just not yeah, quite as yeah. good, not it was bad, but it just wasn't as much, and I feel like it's it's a genie it could have gone a lot, so that was my only little critique, but. All the singing was good. All the acting was great. I, like I said, I I really like the new aspects of the story. I even like the new song that they wrote for Jasmine. Mm -hmm. I I liked it. What did you think? Yeah, I liked it too. Um, I, I will like say, Will Smith. You're never, I like Will Smith. I have to say, I do. You, he's in a hard spot. Oh, because it's impossible. Everyone loves Robin Williams as the genie. Yeah, everyone does. Yeah, because Robin Williams. And everyone's mind is the genie. Yes, absolutely. And so everyone's like, well, he was good, but he's not Robin Williams. Well, no, he's not going to be Robin Williams. He's going to be Robin Williams. Will Smith is funny. Naturally, he's very funny. He's, no one in the world has comedic timing like Robin Williams does. And his no one's brain works as right? fast as his does, right? <laughs> or did. So it's, you can't. You cannot. <laughs> Even my thing with the singing doesn't ever talk about. We had a difference of opinions about the singing too, because I lo Will Smith is a talk singer. Like some of it's talking, right, yeah. and some of it's singing, right? Um, and it's not that like he can he can carry tune. It's not like he can he can sing. I'm not saying that, um, but it's very much like getting jiggy with it. Na 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 na. <laughs> that's his kind of singing, which is fine. Um, and um, Robin Williams we need can to have you sing more on this. <laughs> That's his type of singing. And Robin Williams can sing, but he sings in this, always in a, not his own voice, in a voice he's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And so in that voice, he also can carry a tune. Yeah. And so oh, in sure. that other voice, he can sing. And so in your mind, you're hearing him, obviously, because you've heard him sing A Friend Like Me, I don't know, 8,000 <laughs> times. At least. So you know, like, oh, that's where he says this part. Yeah, And yeah. he sings it like that part. Uh, and so that was the problem. So Will Smith. But if you had not seen Robin Williams be the genie, you would think Will Smith's very good because he, he is good. I would say I liked, I I did like Robin Williams better than Rob, than Will Smith still. That's just how it's going to always be. That's okay. <laughs> but he was very good. But I, Mena Masoud, or Masoud, who played Aladdin, oh, Aladdin, I thought he was so good. He was, he was so really good. good. And Naomi Scott, who played Jasmine, I thought she was fantastic, too. I also really liked, oh, Nassim Pedra, who played her handmaid. <laughs> I was going to say, she, was very she might funny. have been my favorite She was very one. funny. She was so good. She was good. very funny. Um, the only person, I wasn't a fan of Jafar. Yeah. Because I was not scared. He didn't scare me. Yeah. He was like, so oh, I'm a bad guy. Like, no, I, I didn't wanted think to be you more were bad like, about it. Though. More to it. Jafar, to me, was the letdown. Because... Let me tell you, 
if you're the voice of Jafar from the animated one, it's scary, really, though. Yeah. Jafar in the Aladdin, the animated one is scary. This guy's not super scary. He's kind of like a little too, maybe, like, handsome and young, yeah. maybe, to be yeah. too scary. Maybe that's the problem. I don't know. Um, but there are some really funny added parts. Like, there's, there's, like, a dance scene where the genie makes Aladdin dance, and that part's very funny. Uh, and I like The whole thing with the handmaid was what I was oh, kind man, of yeah. referring to is the change in the story. Oh, yeah. This is this added aspect that they added Which is, to it. And it makes the genie a little more human. I really human liked it. As yeah, well too. I really liked yeah. it. But the overall art, Disney knows how to make good movies. And so that's story. it. And it's bright and shiny, like Aladdin should be. And so that part's all good. I enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. I didn't... Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, something else. It's brewing. It's bubbling. What do you got? Go ahead. Did I like it more than the live action Beauty and the Beast? Oh. No, I gotta give it to Beauty and the Beast. No, I probably would too. But it's close. It's yeah. probably my no, second favorite close. of all live action. Absolutely. And I, we found out, we forgot some other live action ones like the Dumbo one they just redid and the Christopher oh. Robin one they did and Pete's Dragon that they did. We forgot all about those ones. But out of oh, all those ones we've you. said, Aladdin is second for me, after Beauty and the Beast. That's yeah, what I would yeah, say. Yeah. I would agree. So I think go take it. And I, kids seem to love it. Yeah, seriously. I wonder what's not to like. It's a good movie. It's so, a good story. It's very it's enjoyable. good music. You can't argue with the music. Yeah. Alan Menken knows how to write a song. And has. And has. He he's already won an Oscar for Aladdin song, so he's good. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I'd say go see it for sure. If you haven't already, which you probably can. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye.